here we are in our first tunnel. And the cool thing was we came into it and it was pitch black dark. Steve rode in a few metres and all of a sudden automatic sensor lights just came on. Take that cycling infrastructure, the best. Now are we ready for the tunnel noises? Woo! Oh, it's dark again. Here we are at the Boisvert Viaduct of Dreams. Look at this. Ooh. Sensational, right? Welcome to part 10 of our cycle tour from Dublin to the Ariège in the French Pyrenees. It's been quite a journey to get this far, and in this episode, we finally arrive. Here we are, the final morning waking up, knowing that we pack up a camp gear today and we move to our house. Well, rental. Rent. Wow, it's a big day. And I'm whispering because you know it's like, you know. I'm first eight. Yeah, yeah. Well, we did Tront, as they say on this side in France. Anyway, great news. The baguettes have been delivered. Today they got delivered to our site to our en place mont directly by a man in a little electric golf buggy. The bread is still warm, the baguette is warm, the pastries are looking divine. Have coffee a look. The coffee, the coffee is brewing thanks to Stephen. Look what we have here. Sensational. Aeropress waiting to be plunged. If you could just feel the warmth coming from the warm bread, the warm palm, the warm fresh baguette. And then these, how long do you think these will last? Two minutes. It's not very. Not very at all. You can already see some flakes coming off. Oh, yes. Anyway, so today we will depart um, Ordinac Le Bain go through saint Jerome. there is a Voie Vert, a disused railway line that we will take all the way to Foix. 40, 40 38, 38, 40 kilometers. Something like that. I think it's all compressed granite sort of stuff, so the gravel bikes will come into their own, it'll be fine. And then from there, we'll see how we feel. The option is to ride all the way to the rental, which will be another 30 kilometers, or we jump a train, skip a few kilometers out, and then ride the final 10 or 15. It'll be weird to not be setting up camp again. We both had a pretty good night's sleep. Mm, very yeah, good night's very sleep. good night's sleep. And yeah, so final campsite breakfast. A little bit for the moment. Anyway, mm. we'll be we'll be camping again for sure. Yeah, three weeks of camping and we love it. So final Oniva to Cadix. Yeah, Les Maison. Today is the day. Like we said earlier, we head to our maison for six mois, six months. Anyway, we've just left the campsite, rolled down pleasant downhill, mm -hmm. the outskirts of saint Giron to the start of the Voie Vert between saint Giron and Foix. How are you feeling? All good. Now, thankfully, uh, just before we turned on to this, there was a massive hill, <laughs> which thankfully uh, we didn't have to climb because we both thought we'd be walking. So. Now Definitely we're, be uh, walking. Now we're graced with beautiful canopy of trees over this sensational looking rail trail. Yeah, let me show you. Which we will be on for the next 38 kilometres all the way to Foix. Yeah, so let's hope this isn't just buoyant optimism. I mean, a rail trail means that a train used to be here, so there can't be many steep hills. But look at this lovely shade. And it's funny, after living in Dublin so long and seeking the heat, it does get hot here. Yes. We've had days where in the direct sun, the Garmin's reading well over 36. No, obviously the air temperature isn't 36, but in the sun, that's what it feels like. And yeah, look at this lovely green canopy. And the surface I think is really, would you call it compacted granite or stone or something? Yeah, it yeah. looks good anyway. It does. It's unpaved, but um, really good looking surface. We were on a similar surface. Uh, and the canal path, I think. And it was fantastic, nice and smooth and nice rolling. So. Yeah, so we're both looking forward to getting to the new place, unpacking. It was weird packing up the campsite knowing we weren't going to re-pitch a tent tonight. Mm. Both looking forward to just unpacking, unwinding and doing nothing sure. much for a few days. What a sensational three weeks of travel, no doubt we'll recap. But once more, 
from Saint Giron to Foix and beyond. beyond. <laughs> On y va! between saint Giron and Foix was a real revelation for us. Oh my goodness, wow! This is a new contender for Bella's most picturesque and favourite rail trail in France. As you can see from the footage, we just rolled and rolled through beautiful lush forests and open areas. The riding was sensational and just mind-blowing. Here we are in our first tunnel. And the cool thing was we came into it and it was pitch black dark. Steve rode in a few meters and all of a sudden automatic sensor lights just came on. Take that cycling infrastructure, the best. Now are we ready for the tunnel noises? Woo! Oh, it's just dark again. Yeah, <laughs> must be a light out there. Wow, it's pretty awesome. We rate the tunnel. It's a long tunnel too. I think definitely. And this is the first of, I think, four or five tunnels on this rail trail. Another dark bit. Oh, I can't see. Like, <laughs> danger. I feel like we're also going downhill. Great. Yep, 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 keeping my distance. Sort of know you can just keep going straight. What a tunnel! Yoo! How awesome! Yoo! Another dark bit coming up. But I can see the light. Oh, and the dark. This would be impossible without any of this lighting. Like, you wouldn't be able to see the hand in front of your face. And I think, you know, how many years ago was it that the train line stopped? Here we go. About to come through. Woo -hoo! Steve wins the sprint. He may have won the sprint, but fun is the winner of the day. On y va! Bonjour. Having recently left the high mountains of the Pyrenees behind, when we first decided to take the rail trail between saint Girons and Croix, I must admit that I personally didn't really think it would be as good as it was. And without sort of sounding like a broken record, this trail was just absolutely, wow, breathtaking, mind-blowing, stunning, everything you want to throw at it. And it just kept Bonjour. going and going. Like, I kept thinking, okay, the next kilometre, this is going to get, you know, toned down in its beauty, but no. And it was just the whole way along. Lush and green and open. You can see here down below where the main road is, and that would have been our alternative, but why take that when you've got this beautiful trail instead? Car free, 
and stress-free and just sensational. Of course, this trail was built where an old rail line used to be, which also meant that the small inclines were never too taxing and you were talking about gradients of maybe one or two percent. And there were sort of two climbs along the trail and for each climb there was a beautiful long downhill as well. And then interspersed you had these amazing old you know, features with some older tunnels and just the cuttings as well into the side. So it was, yeah, thumbs up. It just kept on giving the whole way long. Here we are at the Bois Vert Viaduct of Dreams. Look at this! You Sensational, right? Like, what a great piece of cycling infrastructure in the Ariège Pyrenees. 100% recommend it. It is stunning, spectacular, ticks all of the boxes. And not just for the viaduct or the tunnels, but lush forests, trail side, the Trails in really good condition, fantastic for gravel bikes and obviously mountain bikes, hybrid bikes and whatnot. It'd be a bit probably doable on a roadie, but I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, this is just out of this world. You pop out of the forest, you have views of the Ariège mountain range and Pyrenees and it's just absolutely spectacular. 100% recommend. And the journey from the top of France to the new home has begun. Just about to hit the new digs. Well, made it, Steve. We made it. That's right, three weeks since leaving the Dublin ferry port and arriving in France. We've somehow made it all the way from the top of France to the French Ariège in the Pyrenees. First time exploring the new road where I can now call home. Oh my God, check it out. Holy moly! Woo! Look at the mountains there. Bit of a nice cheeky climb to get here too. 13% for a bit. And it settled down mainly around eight. Oh, mega. Anyway, I've got to go that way, but. Not far from topping out on the second climb of the day. You check the views. Beautiful. Oh, man, what a place to ride.
a few more hundred meters and I'll be at the top. Super! Well, almost at the end of the first explorer ride in this region and wow, pretty mind blown. We live in the very flat part but just a few kilometers out and I was in beautiful rolling lush climbs and hairpins and oh, really blown away by it all. Once again, the Strava route mapping really worked a treat. Again, I wouldn't know how to do any of this or piece any of these roads together without it and all the roads were fantastic and best of all, I passed a boulangerie, so that was all good. All great, woo! Welcoming party, you! So it was at the end of August that our cycle tour down to the French Ariège came to an end, but that's certainly not the end of our adventures. We spent the last four months settling down here in France, getting to grips with the language and the culture and exploring our area here for cycling more and more. We're thrilled to announce that we've got lots more planned in terms of content from rides to gear reviews and also some practical tips to let you know how exactly it was that we planned our tour, what sort of navigation tools we use, what sort of equipment we used on our way as well. So if you haven't done so already, make sure to click subscribe, give us a thumbs up if you've liked what you've seen so far, and of course, any questions, please send them in the comments below or drop us an email. Until next time, happy pedaling.